Hi, my name is Diane Curta. I'm the director of the Gopher Hole Museum since 1996. Our hours of operation are from June 1st to September 30th, seven days a week from 10 to 5. Our admission price is $2 for adults, 50 cents for children 13 and under, and our price will never change. The Gopher Hole Museum in Torrington has 44 dioramas, 77 stuffed gophers. Local ladies dress the gophers when they're ready. Some of our props are Barbie doll accessories, some are found in hobby shops, and some were handmade. Our dioramas represent Torrington and what we have in our surrounding area. When Phyllis Wilson said, well, let's just stuff them, and everybody laughed at her and said, yeah, right, Phyllis, you know. And it took a couple of meetings, and that was only uh, our meetings were once a month, to really say, well, would this work? And once we got sitting and thinking about it and saying, okay, if we had, you know, an individual diorama of, of the diner, what could we put in there? When you sat and thought, okay, we could put two gophers sitting in there, sitting on a table, we never thought of the little quotes till later on. Each diorama took a lot of thought, but after our first three, we really got into it, because the more you worked on them, the more that came into your head, thinking, well, we could put this in there, and, you know, like the fertilizer plant. That's real manure that's in there, it's sheep manure, instead of trying to find plasticine and making it out, that's real sheep manure that's covered in this special plastic. Well, our very first year, we had 10,000 visitors, which we were just overwhelmed. But after that, we averaged around 5,000 visitors through the four months that were open. People went to see, thought there was something to really see when the train come through Torrington. And I wasn't very old at that time, but I remember when the old train went poof, 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 and the steam was coming out. Kids go down to the track and put a penny on the track to flatten it. It's gone. That's the end of the railroad. 
Beautiful floor in that. Well, when I was a kid, uh, Torrington had uh, two general stores, a uh, machinery dealer, one, two, three service stations, a blacksmith, a restaurant. Back then, you knew everyone. I mean, uh, you knew every household, it seemed like, you know. It, it, uh, it was all uh, relatives and, and friends. When I'm sitting here and it's kind of a, a lull, I'll get up and start looking at the, uh, the dioramas. Yeah, you walk around and you make sure everything is still in its place and, and then you stop and you look and... But um, there's a lot of memories. Yeah, a lot of memories. The way of life that's depicted in here is even dying in Torrington. And I know in the cities it's dying. For much of ancient Egyptian history, they had that sense of cyclical time, that things would begin and die and begin and die over and over and over again, and that that would go on forever, and that you'd have a new king start, and that king would build wonderful things, and then he'd die, and then you'd have another king, but that basically the world would keep going in a nice way. But as time went on, um, Egypt was lacking certain resources that are very helpful for war. They really didn't have the technology and maybe they didn't have the energy anymore. And so if you were an ancient Egyptian from, I think, maybe 500 BCE, you had that sense that the good times aren't coming back. The good times are all finished. And I suspect things got pretty gloomy by the time the Romans are there. And so they have a sense of how do we preserve what's best from our culture. They, they spend more and more time with that.
Okay? Okay. Um, this year at the Gopher Hole Museum uh, has been about the same as every other year. Their attendance, I think, has been a little better. Uh, we've had more tours this year. Um, <laughs> it's been a little while since I've done this. I have had to step down as far as working uh, at the museum uh, with uh, the people, uh, you know, the attend, you know, tourists that come through due to my health. But I still have a lot to do with with the uh, museum uh, as far as being manager. I do work when the tours come through. Uh, I do help with the tours, and uh, as you see, I do have trouble uh, thinking and speaking about things, so I'm sorry to say that if this is causing any problems with this uh, speech, and <laughs> I have missed working at the museum. Um, very much this year and hopefully next year I will be back and be more involved with the museum after 18 years being involved I hope I will be back